Hey guys, this is uh, Stacy Flick from StacyFlick.com, and I wanted to bring you this uh, this video today to give you um, what I would consider a valuable resource. Um, you know, when you're when you're uploading videos, uh, obviously tags on your videos plays a big part in um, in in your video and how it gets found by YouTube. So I wanted to just uh, record this quick video. Um, just it's just going to be a short one as well, you know, just to show you how you can find tags for any video on YouTube at all, yeah, any video, and it is super super simple, easy way, yeah. Um, you know, I think I just had a question actually about uh, using, like, you know, looking at the source code of the page and and you know, trawling through loads of HTML to look at tags. It makes my head hurt, you know, it, it does. It makes my brain hurt, like so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and show you, you know, what, what the, one of the tools that I use uh, to find tags. Very, very easy. You, you're going to love this. So let's just share my screen. Let me just find what I can use. Yep, yeah, I use that one. Okay, so this is. A website called vidiq.com. I don't know if you heard of it. Maybe you have. Maybe you haven't. Um, now, on here, you know this. Uh, I, I believe they 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 do try and get you to sign up and and pay for a service that they do. Uh, you know, and it, and it's all about YouTube. You know, and and, and optimizing your videos. Not you can go through this video at your leisure. But what I really want to do is show you. A, an extension, a Chrome extension. It's only on Chrome, and you can use this uh, for Google Chrome. So I'll, I'll show you where it is. You know, if we go to YouTube, and um, I'm going to show you uh, what's his name, Pi PewDiePie. Have you seen this guy? I tell you, yeah, PewDiePie. Yeah, go and have a look at his YouTube channel. The guy's got like 22 million subscribers. Let me just jump on his YouTube channel. Yeah, 22.6 million subscribers. Yeah, you know, he, he, if you look at his videos, he, he uploaded you know, a couple of hours ago, and he's got like you know 385,000 views on it already. You know, but what I want to do is just show you. Let me show you one of his videos. Yeah, here we go. He's uploaded one hour ago. This one has. Um, this one's one day ago. It's got 1.9 million views on it. So this is a good example we can use. In fact, it's not a good example because he's put it into a playlist. Let me just go back a second. I feel like a mother. Let me have a look at this one. Let's put them all into playlists. <laughs> anyway, it's it's uh, basically what it does is it comes up here. Yeah, you can see this here. Yeah, vid IQ, and it tells you like loads of in uh, interesting facts about this video. So you've got the the vidIQ score. You know this is how much it's likely to be promoted in um, in YouTube. So this is an 89 out of 100, really good. This is how many views it's had. So it's had 874,000 views. You can see that there. Channel subscriptions, Facebook likes. So it's telling you how many Facebook likes this particular video has had. 331. Facebook shares, 115. And this isn't, you know, just from these buttons here. This is, you know, if you share it manually or whatever. Um, Eleven comments, uh, Facebook comments, uh, fifty-four thousand odd YouTube likes, which is here. YouTube, uh, YouTube dislikes, which is obviously next to that. Uh, YouTube comments. I'm not sure why it's come up there, but you've got nine thousand odd comments here. You can see the comments. Uh, and then the tweets, it's got 605 tweets. Google Pluses, you know, Reddit votes, StumbleUpon views, LinkedIn count, uh, description count is the links in the description. Yeah, the links in the description says one, two, three, there's a seven there, yeah. Uh, description word count tells you how many words are in the description. Words per minute, 
Um, and one day ago it was uploaded, and then the creator suggested this means that you know you've got this uh, down here. You've got uh, related videos, so it's saying that it will show up two times um, in the related videos. His other videos will, and um, and you can see there, there's one and there's two. So and then the true engagement. This is like how many people have actually uh, watched. I think it's all of it. But you can get yeah you, know, you can get all the breakdown on this uh, website here of how it actually works. But you can see for yourself, you know, and you, you can get a little graph as well. Click on there, you can get a graph of to you know the 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 percentages and that of of Facebook likes and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's really really good. And of course, you know what this video is all about is tags. So here's all the tags he's put into his video. So you can spy on any video you want and find all of these tags, you know, that people are using on the videos. Now, I'm not saying copy people's tags. That's not the way to go. I believe, you know, um, people are, you know, using uh, tags for a reason. So you know, and it may be to to promote their channel in in different ways. So not necessarily go copy everyone's tags, you know, just because they've got it in and they're ranking high. There's lots of other factors why somebody's ranking, but um, yeah, you can you can view their tags, and um, you know, a lot of people stuff tags into their um, their videos, and in my opinion, yeah, this just confuses YouTube. You know, it just says to YouTube, take your pick, which one do you want to look at? You know, but if you go say to YouTube, you know, look, here's my tag, you know, if you, for instance, only give YouTube one tag to look at, yeah, it cannot do anything else apart from rank you on that tag, you know, obviously that's a, a contributing factor, but it can only rank you on that, on that one tag, I'm not saying just put one tag in there, but make them really, really laser targeted relevant. So how to download this, how to get it on your, um, on your browser? Just go whack in there into uh, Google VidIQ Chrome extension. You click on this um, this result here, and then it will take you to the Chrome Web Store. It says here it's already added to Chrome, obviously because I've got it on my browser already. But you just click this button here and you add it to your Chrome. I, I, you have to restart your browser, and then once you've restarted it, you just want to come up to here. There's a little button here. Click on that and go down to Tools. And go across to extensions. Now, if you don't like it for whatever reason, uh, here it is here, and you can just enable it or disable it by ticking this box, or just delete the thing if you don't like it at all. Yeah, I can't see why you wouldn't like it, but hey. So, yeah, I mean that's uh, that's my that's my little tip for you. I mean, uh, I believe that it, it's 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 a really good way to you know, uh, see what your competitors are doing and just, you know, kind of spy on your competitors really, you know, get, get an edge on them. Um, you know, check it out. Leave me a, a comment below this video of what you think of it, uh, you know, and what you think of this tip. And, um, you know, I'd, I'd love to hear, I'd love to hear what's going on. In the description below here, what I'll do is I'll put a link to the extension where you can just click straight on the link and go straight to the extension and download it to your browser. And, um, there's also a link in the description there that, that takes you to uh, my personal method. What I've done is I've, I've recorded a video of exactly how I, over my shoulder, exactly how I um, optimize my YouTube videos when I upload them to YouTube. So every single YouTube video I up upload to YouTube, I've, I've recorded an over-the-shoulder screenshot video of how I do it. And there's a link down there, stacyflick.com forward slash rank video. And uh, you can get your free copy from there as well. So check that out as well. Okay, thanks for watching. And I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot.